Hey, what is up guys? Daily Science here in this video. I'm back with another cool science experiment. So for this science experiment, you will need two mixing bowls, borax, liquid glue, a measuring cup, a yellow highlighter, food coloring, and a black light. To start off, you have to go ahead and put a half a cup of water in one bowl and a full cup of water in the second bowl. Break out your highlighter and take that little plastic piece off the end and drop your highlighter tube in there and just squeeze out as much of the ink as you can into the water. Now I kind of forgot to put an another half a cup of water in this so now there's a full cup of water in there and a half a cup in the other bowl. So now just go ahead and take a measuring cup and measure out a half a cup of liquid glue. Now just pour your liquid glue into the second bowl, the one without the highlighter. And just mix it up until it's just it just looks like milk. Now's the time to add the food coloring and if you want the color that I got, just go ahead and add 7 drops of green food coloring and 2 drops of blue food coloring. And go ahead and mix it all together. Now we're done with this one, just go ahead and take out your second bowl once again and add 1 teaspoon of borax and you don't have to be specific with this, just put 1 teaspoon. You don't have to completely dissolve everything as when I did this, it didn't get completely dissolved but just try dissolving as much as you can. Now comes the fun part where you mix the two liquids together and just go ahead and start mixing it all together and this actually kind of felt really weird because as you start mixing it first feels like a liquid and then it slowly starts getting thicker and thicker until it becomes more and more slimy and it actually kind of felt really good to mix so like I really suggest you guys try this at home it's actually really fun and really cool. Now keep in mind that the more you mix the thicker the slime becomes. Just to put this out there, this isn't non-toxic, in fact it's actually toxic and it's perfectly safe to play with, just not to eat. So don't put it in your mouth. Stop mixing when you're satisfied with how thick your slime is. And your slime is complete and you can do whatever you want with it. And it kind of feels actually really good and everything, it, you should honestly try this out. It's hard to explain but it's like, as you can obviously probably tell, it feels slimy and gooey and it stretches out pretty far and we put yellow highlighter in this so it should glow in the dark when you have a black light so let's go ahead and test that out right now. So in the dark with black light on this actually looks amazing and as you guys can see it glows really bright it actually kind of blew me away and it looks amazing and it's guaranteed to like entertain you for at least a couple of minutes and if you're younger like a couple of days and it'll probably last a couple of weeks I still have mine in a plastic bag. Now just to show you guys, just for in case you wanted to know, you can hold in your handprint as you guys can see. I put my hand there and it just it kept the shape for a little bit and then it just like loses the shape. So this does actually kind of feel like cornstarch. I did this experiment a while back and I'll leave the card right there if you want to watch it. And it sort of just turns into more liquidy when you're not putting enough pressure into it and when you do put a lot of pressure into it, it's more solid and stays together. So that's about it for this science experiment, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so we can reach that 5000 mark by the end of this year. And leave a like down below which will be much appreciated. Also leave a comment down below about what you thought about this experiment if you tried it out yourself. And I'm actually looking forward to some positive feedback or what I can do better on my videos next time which will improve the quality of my video. Also give me um, suggestions for future videos and if I actually use one of your ideas I will shout you out if that means anything to you if you guys if you guys want to shout out and i'll see you guys in the next video i mean i'll shout you out, out to my 4000 subs